Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're at the house and I've got a new project I wanted to work on. I've got this uh, E300 Razor scooter that my kids used to ride. They don't really use it anymore. And so I took it out for a ride the other day to see how it was going. And here's the uh, old lead acid batteries that were in it that were not really holding a charge very well. So I went and purchased some 12 volt, 10 amp batteries from Dakota Lithium. They came the other day. And I'm gonna put those in there in place of these. These were 12 volt, uh, 20, uh, 12 volt, seven amp batteries before. So these are, you know, 12 volt, 10 amp. So we'll get a little bit more runtime out of them. I'm gonna hook them together so we get 24 volts out of it. It says that uh, Dakota Electric says you can do that to these. And so I went ahead and charged these overnight. So we'll check the voltage on these and then we will uh, hook it back up in here, get 24 volts out of it and see if we can get it to run and see if it'll run a little bit faster. Probably not too much faster, but I'm guessing it'll have a little bit more power to it. And we'll see how that goes. There's a lot more things I think you can do to these things from looking at them online. I know you can change the controller out on them as well. And you can obviously change this uh, motor out to put bigger motors in it. We'd have to make some more modifications to do that because a different motor would be bigger. I could put like a 36 volt one on here, but then I have to get a 36 volt battery for it. And I'd have to get a new controller. So I'm gonna just try the batteries first. We'll see how the batteries do and we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna see after I charge these lithium batteries up overnight. This one's got 13.64 and this one's got 13.79 and so that's what Dakota lithium says and you should do that with any battery because I'm going to hook these together to get 24 volts so you want to charge them up to make sure that they're fully charged and they do have battery management systems in them so it should kind of keep it together as I'm uh, when I hook it all together. So first I'm gonna take these wires off, put some more clips on it so I can hook it onto here, F-type clips. And then we will uh, plug it back up to the uh, scooter and see how it goes. So the new lithium batteries are about the same size as the old ones. And that's about the way I can get them to fit in there laying down flat. It's pretty tight squeeze. I think it'll work. So I think that's how I'll have to put them in there and try and get the wires in there between them. And I'll have to wire it up, you know, the same way it was before. These were just going to a fuse before. And I don't think I need the fuse anymore with the lithium. So I will uh, just put a F-type connector on each end of this. And then I'll connect the positive to the negative, And then to the negative will go to the battery. And then the other end of the clip will go to the positive on the lithium battery. So i got to put an F-type connector there. F-type connector there, and then I need an F-type connector on both ends of this. And that should be all we need to get it back in there. And I think it'll all fit in there, hoping so. There's the new F-type connectors I have right there. So no soldering needed. I should just be able to slide them on there and, and uh, clamp them down. So that's what's next. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just cut this one off here. Cut the end off of this. And we need to put F type connectors on this. And this is 14 gauge wire. connector on the end of this one. And the end of this one. So that one goes on like that. And we're gonna crimp that. Here to 
give me a little more leverage. So there's our connectors. I'm still a little loose. That's all the wires we need to do. So then we're gonna go from positive to negative to put these in series. From positive to negative. And then we should have 24 volts here now. And so we've got 27.3 volts now total. And that's what we want. So 27.3 volts. We're now holding series. Now we just got to do is get them back in there and plug back onto the scooter and uh, go from there. Might have to flip this one around, but I've got plenty of wire if I need to, so I think it might go like that. I'll give that a try. All right, so that was a tight squeeze, but I've got them in there now. Let's make sure we still have 24 volts after I did all that messing around. Connections are still all connected up. And I've got 27.4, 27.3 volts still. So all that's left to do is connect it up to my connector here to the controller. Let's see if we get power. Mr. Bumblebee's coming to visit me. We've got power. Let's see if the wheels will spin if I turn the uh, throttle. There we go. I'm gonna put the plate back on it here real quick and we will uh, take it for a ride and see if it works. It's, that's all there really is to it. New batteries is all I'm really doing. So, and you know, being lithium batteries rather than those lead acid ones, I think we'll get a little bit more distance out of it, and maybe a little bit more power. Let's go give it a ride. Just that one. Just that one. The cover back on it. To charge these batteries, we'll have to take the cover off, obviously, at this point, since there's no charge point. And on the charge point used to be down here on the old batteries. Uh, I guess it would go through the charge controller to do it, but for now, we'll just have to take them out to charge them. We'll figure that out later. But let's uh, get it put back together the rest of the way and see how it goes. All right, power's on. Let's give it a ride and see how it goes. It's not super fast going up the hills. I mean, obviously going down hills is good. But it seems like it has enough power to pull me even up hills. Like the hill here at the house is pretty steep. And it, you know, it's dragging, but it's not losing power per se. Which is nice. I think it'll work out pretty well. I guess the next question is, how far can I go on it before I run out of power? So that's it, that's all there was to it. Put the new batteries in it, put the new clamps on it. Didn't take much time and uh, it goes okay. 
I'd like to have a little bit, little bit more power, but uh, that's what I get for now. So Minneapolis has some pretty extensive bike paths. The, we're going to try to scoot out on some of those bike paths and see how that goes. That'll be some of our other adventures we go on here soon. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to like this video, give me some comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'd love to have you, and we'll see you guys next time.